a few scrapes today. As if, uh, some of the fish looking a bit mucusy. Tiny bit of flashing. But, uh, but what, what I haven't showed you, okay, these are going to be painted black so they will kind of disappear. How to get access to the pond. Um, right, I'm going to try this one handed. It should be, but just show you this easy. Uh, so I've got one hinge there, other hinge there. So, three years. I just lift it up. Okay, it's stuck to the floor. Okay, obviously it would have been easier with two hands, but. So, yeah, so that uh, is the way that works. I don't think it's quite very warm today, though. Uh, I suppose if it's 10, yeah, but 9 degrees. I still need them a little. Um, Not a handful, even. That's twice a day as long as they eat and keep on doing it. It's not it's, um, a digestible food, not high protein. Right, so turn the air off and I'll uh, try to catch a few. Let's get across into the sun. Nice big koi. Uh, mine. Um, so you can okay. Um, nice big head. Let's see if I can get a measurement. It's about that. I'll check in a slow more later. This looks like this part of sixty. CM. Alright, give him a quick scrape. Hopefully, you can see me on the other camera for this bit. And then I'll let him go. Okay, yeah, just a thought actually. I'm above the air there, so that didn't, uh, I didn't think that through very well. Alright, let's give you a quick scrape and let you go. There's a little thing on his head there. See what? I don't know what that is. Uh, so maybe a bit of uh, koi pox. I don't think I've shown you this before, how I, uh, of course, don't take anything nice as being the uh, crap we're doing this. So it's a Bresner microscope. Uh, let me know if you want to know any more details about it. But it's got an app and the, is it Ocula, I think it's called? And the, um, I've only ever used it on the screen, I never use it with the eyepiece. Um, so. It's just a case of you put the slides in there and then moving these back and forth, up and down. Then um, you get the zoom and the that's of your focus. Right, let me get on with this. I'll, uh, if I find anything, I'll share it with you. So just show you a bit more some the slides on there. Uh, Probably won't focus too well, but then it's a case of uh, if you move it, this is moving the plot on up and down. So, just getting in there, and then these two dials move left or right or back or front, back and front. So, it's kind of a case of working your way around. Slide slowly. Um, what I generally found is it's looking for for movement, and so the movement kind of triggers the closer look. There's a bit of liquid on top of the uh, slide, so that's given me two points to look at. Um, so far, so good and thin. Um, 
Well, I've only just started doing that. Uh, nothing's really... Uh, screaming out at the moment. Um, I'll probably find, the, as usual, a couple of flukes. Um, yeah, so there's some a bit of, uh, I think that's a bit of a, a bit of dust or some particle on top of the lens, and then as I move the slide closer. You see what's between the two pieces of glass, which is really where we need to concentrate. Uh, so I'm going across looking for movement, just small twists. Um, and it's kind of back and forth, up and down. Um, okay, if I find anything, I'll start it up again. So, and edge of the glass, up and back for the whole length. So nothing found on the first scrape, so good. So I'll try the second slide now. So nothing on either slide. Um, so I think you never really want to find anything, but uh, equally, um, if you do find something, then you can treat it. But, uh, Okay, let me try another fish or two and uh, hopefully a clean bill of health before the covers go on. Okay, this is a rugby. It's a big eater, it's a, like a shape of a rugby ball. Um, if you get a measurement, I think it's quite as big as the shower, but uh, so, uh, Just taste it. Like, <laughs> do two hands with really. Let's try that again. It does seem to produce more mucus in it than the other fish. Um, it doesn't look too bad actually. Um, kind of, there's a bit, of, a bit going on there, so I'm not sure if you can help me on the type of koi. It's a bit like a high youth, high, high youth suri, but um, he's obviously got white there as well. Um, so does that make him a shower, black below the midline? I don't know. Um, right, can you turn the other way? What should we do with that there? There we are. I haven't quite got the tape measurement right because it's not quite in the corner. I'll hold a bit. I don't assess about any lot more, but uh, it's probably about 55. Right, a couple of scrapes. This is where I normally catch any movement, so uh, I'd probably use the recording from the PC for this. Um, it's in gaps between cells, blocks of cells, where you've just got water. And then there's a flow through. Um, so John, you, you do see, you are seeing movement here, but it's, um, it's just following the flow of water. So if you, go, if you see anything at all, that's not just flowing through, going in different directions whirling, twirling, um, that's generally where, in my experience, that's this is kind of the area where you would see parasites. Um, so, so far I've seen nothing to indicate parasites. Um, so I'll uh, carry on, you do need to be conscious that you know, it is in a cell with a bright light on, so, you know, there's going to be warmth, um, things moving, compression of the uh, the slides, um, so things will move, but it's really 
things that move against the flow, across the flow, twirl. Um, Okay. This is one I've um, seen flashing away. He's never, whenever you get close up, he's not the prettiest. He's the, to be honest, I'm not sure what, what he is, I don't. Um, you're showing up quite nicely actually in the camera, but uh, I'll show you a bit closer in. It's kind of, kind of covered in black dots and uh, I've seen him flashing a bit uh, of, all, of all the fish and uh, he's always spent time in the, in the window and he just sits in the and he's just sits in front of the window and shakes his head back and forth. Um, so I'll just try him for a couple of scrapes. If there's nothing on there, him then uh, I think the pond is clear. Right. So I'll just uh, do this quickly and let him get back in the pond. Let's take a measure him first. Uh, forward. Forward. You're going back. <laughs> Two hands needed, really. Persuade him to go straight down himself. Okay, here we are. So, just touch over 15 and I was try to pause it on the uh, tail or use two hands. Right, quick scrape and then I'm back in the pond. This is another good point to see. Um, so, some uh, scales or cells or well, the part of the fish, I don't know exactly what they are, but uh, but then you've got uh, a nice area of water um, and just the movement of water through it. You're just looking for any uh, movement which just doesn't follow that flow. There's something like a fluke and this would be you know, a third of the size, a third of the size of the screen, so you wouldn't miss that. But uh, smaller parasites, you could miss. But uh, it's all looking clean. So well, that's good news. Okay, this one is the bigger boys. Um, so cock with freckles. Um, so does that make it? Uh, uh, Sanky then? I don't know. If you know, let me know. If you have any comments, I'll quickly measure him up. I don't have another measurement of him. So I had him at the start of the year from the pond, closing down sail. Just getting him in the bowl and quick measurement and out again. Okay. Could be completely wrong, but I'm just about the body shape. Um, I'm going for a male for this one. Um, Nice fish, fish. The kind of this is the the athlete of the pond. Um, you know, some of the others are a bit bigger and chunkier, but uh, this one really. Um, you know, is a I was gonna say dynamic swimmer, but he's uh, you know fast through the pond, quite elusive. Um, so a quick measurement, and then we we'll put him back. Seven maybe. I have to check the uh, uh, the slow mo on the camera back. A little bit veiny. Um, okay, could be um, a lot of rain lately. Maybe affecting the pond a bit. Um, perhaps the pH has gone up a bit. I'll check the KH. Um, okay, let's put you back. I'll see if you swim out straight away. Go on, you're free. Swim. And I'd like to give a huge thanks to all the subscribers, new and old. 
approaching nearly 300 now, which is way beyond what I thought, what I thought I'd get. Um, I enjoy making the videos uh, and I'm glad to see that uh, others enjoy watching them. Um, keep watching a lot of new videos to come soon. And thank you all. Bye.